Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Pisces out there for the week of November 4th to the 9th. So without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. Let's get this baby popping. Oh, oh. Some moon rising Venus Jupiter, some moon rising Venus Jupiter, some moon rising Venus Jupiter, some cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see what kind of love is coming towards my Pisces during the week of November 4th to the 9th. What kind of love is coming towards my Pisces? During the week of November 4th to the 9th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards that I need to. See, here we go. Ooh, okay. Outstanding. So, right off the bat, my Pisces. We got the chariot card. Someone is decided to take control of the situation and stare it in a direction where they needed to go. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, so they've decided to take control of this and move this thing in the direction they wanted to go to. That's number one. Number two, they are looking to give an equal give and take here. So they're willing to they're willing to put you know put the work in as long as it's being recipro reciprocal back towards them. So that's cool, right? This person also looking for there to be a sense of truth to have to be revealed in this particular situation. This individual most likely has been doing a lot of communication back and forth with you via social media, via Twitter, uh, blowing up the phone, the whole nine, okay? So this person is in, in very deep, deep communication with you, letting you know that they're interested in you, okay? Now, in addition to this... Um, it appears that you met this individual with some type of celebratory situation, maybe some type of party or work office party or something like that. Um, or, 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 you know, you, like, you know of this person, but this this is where this is going to happen at. You know, you met this person from work or at work or something like that. This individual, Knight of Cups, this is a water sign individual. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? This person kind of fancies themselves to be all that. But the cool thing about it is they're definitely into you. You know, them being with you would absolutely make them 100%, 100% happy, all right? So that's something that you want really, really, really may want to pay attention to. And finally here, we got the high priestess, which means to me they use their, you know, intuition and to, to see that you guys definitely have some kind of chemistry, definitely has some type of vibe going on here. So those are all very, 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 very positive um, attributes here with this with, with an individual such as this. And again, this like you know. So just to recap here real quick, there's this person has decided to take control of the situation and move things in the direction that they wanted to go. That they wanted. To, to go in because maybe things were kind of like eh, kind of, things were going a little bit slow for them. They decided to say, you know what, I'm jumping all in and I'm guiding this thing where I wanted to go to. That's number one. Number two, there's an equal give and take here between you and them. That's number two. Number three, they've been contacting you a whole lot on social media. There's been a communication, social media, or even maybe face to face, but there's definitely been a lot of communication uh, with between directly and indirectly between you and this individual. Okay. But they had, again, the magician card, they decided to take things to their own hands and manifest uh, the reality that they want, which is to be with you. Again, you probably met this individual like some kind of a celebratory situation, maybe a party or get together, a club or something, something where there was a uh, celebration, alcohol, so, so, something of that regard. This person, again, is a water sign individual. They're a water sign individual, so that's something to watch out for. And being with you starting a relationship with you definitely makes them happy will make them happy so with that being said let's see what kind of strengths my prices are dealing with what kind of strengths are you dealing with pisces what kind of strengths are my prices dealing with what kind of strengths are my prices dealing with what kind of strengths are my pisces dealing with some cards i need to see some cards that i need to see here Mm-hmm. Glad, glad, glad to see it. Outstanding. 
Outstanding, Pisces. Outstanding. Long-term commitment. Looking, You're looking for long-term commitment, possibly even marriage. You're looking to call it right down the middle, right as, as you see it. Looking to have a very logical perspective uh, and how to move forward with this. Definitely open to a love type of situation. Long-term, deep, devoted, committed love. Again, these are your strengths. You're looking for an equal give and take. You're, you're looking for a generosity, looking for something to be a uh, person to be generous. I'm trying to get this thing into focus, guys. Looking to for things to be courteousness, generosity, that sort of thing. Also, sixth of swords. You're looking for something that's going to take you in a more smooth direction. Not so much choppy, but very smooth, very relaxed. Okay, situation. Also looking for that new spark, that new opportunity, that new thing on the horizon that keeps things popping. So you're looking for a fresh, a rebirth, if you will. Okay? And you're open to the opportunity of having a rebirth. You've done a lot of internal work on yourself already. Done a lot of soul searching, a lot of self-reflecting. So you are definitely ready for this water sign individual. Um, when this person comes along... To scoop you right up, you're ready for it because you're prepared for it, okay? You want to recognize victory here. You definitely want to recognize victory here with this particular situation, okay? And finally here, an equal give and take. An equal give and take. You're definitely looking for an equal give and take. So with that being said, let's see what type of things from your past that could possibly affect the outcome of this situation. What kind of things in your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What type of things in your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What type of things in your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? Here we go. Well, whoo. If this thing turns toxic, if it turns crazy, if this person is seemingly has some kind of um, opioid addiction, alcohol is, alcoholism, or just overall just a toxic uh, situation from your past, you've dealt with that. If you start to see the little bit of an inkling that that's what this was, you would end it instantly. Because you, again, you've done a lot of the work that you needed to internally to bring you to this place. So if, if there was like even the slightest inkling of that, that would be a deal breaker. In addition here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're very strategic in how you proceed. You know, reasonably responsible. Because again, Knight of, the Knight of Pentacles kind of, it takes good care of its pentacles, okay? It's very strategic, if you will, in how it proceeds. Anything that prevented you from doing that would be problematic for you. And finally here, we have Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Generosity. I mean, that is something that this person is willing to give an equal give and take, which is good too. But anything that will prevent that from being uh, even remotely considered would be a massive problem for you. So, there's that. So, let's see what additional information... The spirit want to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information does spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information do you have for my Pisces before I shut this thing down? <clears throat> one more shuffle, maybe two. Here's one. There's two, and that one to pop off. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that too. All right. So right off the bat here. So, renewal, renewal, this situation, Spirit wants you to know this situation is the renewal that you're looking for, okay, to kind of give you that, that pop, that zazz, that, that panache that you were looking for, it's here, all right, it's, it, it's definitely within this, in the context of this situation, furthermore, we got magnetism, there's massive magnetism, massive attraction that's, you know, that that's, that's definitely here, okay? But balance yourself, okay? Balance yourself. Be smart about it. Don't, don't, be, don't make it too easy. This is everything that you've wanted that you've been trying to manifest and, trying to manifest and you're looking for. But don't make it too easy. Don't make it too easy. 
Balance yourself a little bit. Don't jump in head first. Jump in, but you can jump in feet first, okay? Don't be reckless. Be smart. Be calm. Be patient. Everything that th this is literally, this is literally, this is one of those type of situations that's not too good to be true. It is going to be very, very true, but don't make it too easy. Don't be too eager. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Things are going to work out. Trust me. All right? I love you guys. So I'm shutting this thing down. With this, um, let me just say this is a general reading. Um, if it didn't resonate, that's cool. Get a personal reading. I can dig into your particular situation. If it did resonate, that's even better. And so you may want to get a personal reading so I can kind of dig into your particular situation. Um, if you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.